We would not have been able to do this at time ourselves. Person of the Year is something that is the cocktail conversation all year long. We wanted to continue on our journey of being a first mover, being innovative, being transformative, but again, within the right confines and within the right guardrails. And we knew very early on that the team at scale completely understood and were able to translate what were just ideas of what an outcome could look like into something very real and very tangible. We needed to go all in to make it meaningful. We needed to introduce the ability for people to mix and match different AI features to be able to experience in one singular page view experience. The toolbar that we launched gives users the ability to create summaries, something that does exist, but the ability to have summaries read to you, to read to you in seven different languages, to be able to speak with the chat agent, and to be able to have a very customized experience with something that was really important to us. As you can imagine, the person of the year is a highly contentious announcement every year. Last year was no exception. We knew and anticipated that there would be half of the population who would be very excited about it and there would be half who would have issue with it. And because of that, we wanted to make sure that all the guardrails were in place, making sure that this experience was the most reliable, trusted, safe environment for our content and our journalism to still be the primary experience but to give users that interactivity that they've come to expect. And so Scale really brought a depth of expertise and information to the table to guide us through that process. What we didn't expect was how we became the story, not just person of the year, but actually time and Scale AI and the interpretation of what Gen AI could look like in this format. We didn't expect how big of a response we would receive. And if the media industry doesn't step up and provide more robust, richer experiences to be able to meet consumers with the new ways in which they're engaging with news, information, entertainment, then we're gonna be left behind. I would highly recommend that other companies work with Scale. And I think what we've built is the framework for being able to deploy this functionality more broadly across other media companies. We stayed on our timeline, we stayed on our budget, and you know, I can't help but say, as the CEO, the relationships really mattered, and the chemistry that we had amongst our teams played a huge role in just working so closely on such a tight time frame. All of those things had to be met, and they all were with huge success. We have a lot more to do. We have an exciting roadmap ahead that we will be announcing shortly and we're going to continue to be partnering with Scale AI and I'm really excited about that.